Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're up early. We're gonna do today's video for you and I decided to do something super fun. And we are basically gonna do another challenge makeup video. Who's, Who's ready, ready for, for this? this? Recently saw that James Charles basically did this video right here where he did a full face of makeup just using beauty blenders and sponges. So I decided to get all my little babies here, all different colors, different sizes, and we are gonna try and attempt to do this challenge ourselves. Yeah. So let's get creative, let's get fun, and let's dive straight into the video. Right, with every challenge, I feel like there needs to be rules. So rule number one is I am not allowed to use any tool touching my face apart from the sponge. Okay, that's rule number one. Rule number two, maybe, maybe this could be rule number two. Uh, the sponges are always wet. So make sure you always wet your beauty blenders, guys, and your sponges, because when you wet them, they get bigger, more bouncy, and it actually works so much better. Rule number three, you're not allowed to use your finger to blend out product. I don't know if I'm just setting myself up to fail here. And finally, I will be doing my mascara without a sponge, just FYI. We're not gonna be blinding ourselves during this video. Okay, those are the rules now. Let's get into the creative part. All right, we're gonna start with our moisturizer. Look at this, this is almost finished. You guys know how much I love this. So how is everyone? God. So obviously if you're watching this and you're new, welcome to the family. I'm Danny, and yeah, my page is kind of like all things beauty, fashion and lifestyle, but kind of mainly like beauty and skincare and stuff. So as you guys know, last week we launched our merch, Thirsty. Thursdays. So literally couldn't believe it. This has been like a crazy, crazy week. I honestly feel like I didn't expect them to sell out so fast. So good news is we sold out and we've actually just restocked. I managed to like call my team. I was like, guys, we need to put in another order like now. So, so, so excited. If you want to grab your hands on this hoodie, I also have one in blue. Then the link is just below. You can just go to www.dannydefreitas.com. As you guys know, this is something that is very, very new to me and I'm still very small. My units are very limited. You know, I haven't done this kind of project before. So I am starting out and these are these are just like my babies right now because they're the project that I've just literally decided to go into and I'm just really just doing it for fun. So it's been so crazy to see you guys wearing the products. <sighs> it's just so, so cute. cute. <laughs> and every single time if you do wear the hoodie, please tag me and I will of course share it and repost it. It's just like the cutest, it's like the most compliment, complimentary thing. Okay, so now that you've seen the merch hoodie, Let's continue with the makeup. So I literally just went in with the primer also. For primer today, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. You guys know how much I love this. I feel like there's a lot of newness, but I'm just gonna have some coffee. It's like very early in the morning right now. I woke up at like 7 a.m. and I've already done errands and now I'm filming. Right, back on with the video. For our base today, I'm gonna go for... <laughs> I'm actually gonna go for a little bit of a crazy look. I wanna do like a blue eye maybe a blue brow and also a really light skin. So hmm, I'm gonna pop this on the back of my hand and then apply. So I don't even know where to update you guys. I feel like so much it has been happening behind the scenes recently. I have obviously been working on this merch for a little bit of time, kind of since lockdown started. I was like, oh my God, I'm so bored. What am I gonna do? I've also been working on a few other, other projects as well, which is really, really exciting. I got a brand new earring, which I'm loving. What do you guys think? Do we like it? I also got brand new nails. I can't obviously see my nail technicians because their shop is closed because we're still in lockdown. And I was so tired of just looking terrible. So I actually grabbed these nails from Rackstar Nails. Um, I did post it on my Instagram, I posted a little video as well. And you just press them on, like, Look at this, it's like Louis Vuitton nails. Oh, So yeah, I literally just got these. So we have merch, we have earrings, we have nails. <laughs> so I'm gonna put, what, am I allowed to put lip balm on with my finger or am I? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna win this challenge by the way, cause I lost the last one and I was not happy. So yeah, there has been some newness in the beauty industry as well. I feel like brands are finally like having launches and releases and 
oh, it's just so good for like things to slowly start getting back to normal. I'm like, wow, finally, let's be excited for that. But let's also be very, very grateful as well. So yeah, I'm so, so excited things are going back to normal. And I am also so grateful that, you know, I'm healthy and I'm safe and, you know, we're, we've all done this together. It's, it's definitely been a bit of a roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead with the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Now, when it comes to base, I feel like I do use the Beauty Blender for a lot of my base products. So I'm actually not that worried about this part. The part I'm worried about is my eyes because I'm thinking, right, how am I going to blend out without any brushes? And I don't really use that many creams because I'm really oily. So I'm just a bit worried about that part. I wanna hear from you guys. How have you been? What have you been up to? I, I wanna hear your stories. I literally feel like it has been a little bit of a struggle for me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, recently, I just haven't felt as motivated as I usually am. And I'm a very motivated kind of guy. So I have decided to start reading books. So I'm reading this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And it's all about like this guy who's basically got like his dad is educated but poor and then his best friend's dad is like a rich guy so it's just very very interesting interesting to kind of see like outlook on society and stuff like that and i'm really into these books that are like self-help self-motivation things like that so if there's any books that you guys would recommend that's also within that kind of niche then let me know okay so this is kind of looking kind of good and I'm just patting them where I might have like around my beard where I've got a little bit more pigmentation and any areas that I have like blemishes and stuff like that. Okay, so now that that is all done, we are going to move on to our cream, bronzer and contour and stuff like that. So obviously you guys saw that on my last video, I featured the brand new Fenty cream bronzers and blushes. So... Thank you so much, Fenty. You came through just in time. I'm not used to my nails being this long. Usually I don't get very long nails, but oh, the struggle is real. Okay, again, we are going to... See, this is where I'm like, how do I... So I'm just going to go straight in and then apply. This is just the way it's going to be today. It's going to be very strange. I'm so tempted to touch my face with a brush. It's really weird. So guys, what is the first thing you are going to do the minute lockdown is over? I definitely want to see my friends and my family. And I also really want to go away, but I feel like going away isn't going to happen for like a long time. Like flights are not going to start anytime soon. So I'm going to be applying this kind of like a bit higher than the contour would normally go because I want to look a bit more like bronze and sunkiss. Again, the white neck. Every time I fake tan, I feel like it lasts a week. Okay, and that's it. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is all done. It's kind of looking cute. I'm going to add some of that blusher um, that I really like. It's called Strawberry Drip. Oh my God, these nails. Hopefully I'll get used to this. Okay, so the product looks like this. You guys have already seen me feature this. So again, we are just gonna go in. I'm using this one, so far I'm using one sponge and I have different colors so that you guys can kind of see what color I'm using for what. That looks really nice, right? I really like it. I've just been loving this kind of like sun-kissed, kind of looks like a filter. Like, you know those filters that kind of like make you look a bit sun-kissed. So I'm taking it around my cheeks and then just on my nose. And this is very different to how I would normally like used to do my makeup before. I would always like contour my nose and stuff, but I don't know, recently it's getting warm. I've just realized I've set myself up to fail. How am I gonna do blue brows without a tool? Okay, so before I set anything with powder, um, I am gonna use this for my eyes. So this is the P. Louise and Mimima Mitchell collab and it's called Acid Rain. And I was thinking to myself, right, what, how am I gonna do this? Like, I don't really have cream eyeshadows because they're just gonna crease. So I have this amazing Makeup Forever palette, which I got in Los Angeles when I was there. And I was like, okay, this could be really, really good. The pigment of this is insane. And then I also have these P. Louis um, basic, like eye color bases. And I was like, these are really, really good, but these are quite creamy. I feel like these will be perfect as a base and then set it on top with a powder. And then I was thinking, this, I literally just discovered this again in my like, 
in my in my makeup storage and I just thought this is perfect so let's go ahead like the pigment is insane I kid you not oh oh no I just dropped it look at this so it's a little tube it's very makeup artists I'm just living for it and as you swatch it, look at that, look at that pigment. It's insane. So a little bit goes a long way with this. And I feel like if you're using a brush and creating definition, this would be absolutely sickening. So we are gonna try and create a makeup look with this. So I'm gonna use a very small little beauty blender and go ahead and pat. I absolutely love the James Charles version of this video. Like it was so funny. And I just thought, right, I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm very scared at this minute. So I'm gonna pat this on the lid. I think what I don't like is that I have like no control. How is this meant to be cute? How am I gonna make this like editorial? I kind of envisioned like a blown out smoky eye, but right now I just look crazy. <laughs> okay, wait, let me try and use a clean beauty blender to kind of like diffuse it out to blend it. Maybe that will work. I think this looks terrible. <laughs> I just look weird. Okay, so next up, am I happy with these eyes? No, but your boy is limited and I think we can make this work. I'm gonna apply some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. OMG, I literally feel like mascara and lashes have saved this look. Like seriously, it's not that bad. Okay, next up we are gonna go in with some powder. Um, so I'm gonna use loose powder for this challenge because how would I put on press powder? We're gonna go in with this one from Shiseido. It's really nice. It's very very smoothing But it's got this like little mesh thing which I wish it didn't so that more would come out We're gonna go in with the same green sponge so far I feel like I'm doing really good like not using too many sponges and I'm just gonna pat this all over the face Okay, cute. I think that's it. Usually I would powder to the guards, but as you know, we can't. So we're just gonna make do. This makeup for me on my oily skin would probably last, honestly, it's gonna last an hour. And then I'm like, my li my lids are probably already creased. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna use the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually amazing and I used to use this all the time. And it's perfect if you just wanna like, create this gorgeous glow on the skin. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury always says like, darling. So it's like a gorgeous darling glow on the skin. Like, I need to meet her. She seems so fab. Okay, cool. So we're gonna pop that there. The famous little dot on the nose because I like looking crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead with another, another small little one. This one is like a little peach color, how cute. Okay, no way, I'm gonna use a big blue one. I don't know if this is really working here. I don't know. I feel like it's better when you just apply it straight into the areas. My my under eyes are creasing, my lids. My lids are full on crease. Can you see that? Woo! Okay, so who is with me? All right, so we are gonna do lips. Now for lips, I thought, let's mix it up, you know, let's mix it up. And I'm gonna try and pat on a liquid lipstick and then use a little bit of the this and pat that on as well. So we have like an ombre lip. So this is the Fenty Beauty, um, it's called Unbutton and it's the Stunner Lip Paints. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the back of my hand. So far I've been very naughty. Okay, so this is, I'm actually loving this technique because usually I don't like perfectly drawn lips anyway. I definitely quite like that. Definitely feel like I need more concealer underneath my eyes because I can still see my dark circles. We're gonna pop in a little bit of the concealer from NARS onto the center of the lips. I would love a gloss actually as well, but. I'm gonna put some more concealer underneath my eyes because I feel like I look hella tired. Let's do the outro. I was busy focusing on being by myself. Set my feelings to the side, they are right, that's me on a shelf. You wipe them down when I had nothing left. Would you be here with me forever? Ever, ever. Would you be here with me forever? Ever, ever. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let's give the final score. Did we win this challenge? Okay, so overall, is this 
a look. It is definitely a look. Is it up to my level or standard? Do I feel like it represents me as a makeup artist and my artistic skill? No, I've never done this before. Definitely pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Am I amazing at everything makeup related? No, I'm just giving it a go and having some fun. So I honestly don't know. I think overall, I'm tempted to say that I passed because it is a finished look, but there were a few slip ups guys. We did slip up a few times. So I'm gonna give this like three different categories. I would say overall look, pass. <laughs> Um, technique and application, I'm gonna fail because I did use my finger and I did accidentally put a tool on my face and I can't remember what the tool was now because it's just too early. And the final result is like creativity and I'm gonna say that is a fail again. No, or maybe no. I'm gonna be kind to myself, self-love, and I'm gonna give myself a pass for creativity because I've got blue brows. I'm wearing blue brows. I mean, you don't get much more creative than that, right? So two out of three, overall, it's gonna be a pass. Yes, I know we slipped up a little bit. Let me know if I'm just being too nice to myself. Let me know, let me know. And if I should have failed. <laughs> I don't know, do we need a part two of this? Maybe I need to step up the game step up the game. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have been enjoying these more like creative challenges. I've just been really enjoying them because there's something a little bit different and I'm just bored at home. So yeah, please, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the bell for notifications every single time I post. Plus leave a comment down below, share the love, share it to your friends. Just as you wish, guys, as you wish. I'm so, so thankful and appreciative for all of your love all the time. And yeah, all of the links to the products that I use are gonna be down below. So be sure to check that out. And I will see you next time. Stay safe, okay? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.